Wimbledon, where again the old country was out in the cold. Maureen Connolly, at the far end, defended her title against fellow American Louise Brough in the women's singles. The 19-year-old Little Wonder quickly took the first set, 6-2, fighting with all the energy and skill that made her champion last year and the year before. Maureen Connolly served for the match point, the championship again within her grasp. And that was that. Once again, the amazing Little Mo had won the greatest prize in world tennis. The Duchess of Kent presented the trophy to the 1954 champion, Maureen Connolly. In perhaps the most thrilling final, the Australian ace Mervyn Rose, a left-hander, played the Americans Trabert and Satius, partnered by Rex Hartwig, also from Down Under. Here's the final rally. The Aussies in the near court need one point for victory. A sensational finish to a great match. Rose and Hartwig had won the title for Australia. High spot of Wimbledon was, of course, the men's singles final, when Ken Rosewall, in the near court, met Yaroslav Drobny in a tense duel that electrified the 15,000 crowd. Rosewall's point. Drobny took the first set, 13-11, and the young Australian the second, 4-6. But Drobny soon took the whip hand in the third set. It was the 11th time Drobny had tried for the title. Twice he'd been in the final and lost. His wife watched anxiously as, with a 6-2 victory in the third, Drobny prepared for the fourth set. His lithe, athletic young opponent battled on grimly. It was a great performance. Rosewall's point. King Gustav of Sweden and Princess Margaret watch Rosewall in the near court lose this one to a superbly placed shot from Drobny. From her seat above the court, Mrs. Drobny seemed to be almost willing her husband to win, as at 9-6 and match point, he took the service. <laughs> Drobny, the gallant veteran of the centre court, was congratulated by Her Royal Highness on his magnificent win and his sporting 19-year-old opponent was not forgotten. Wimbledon can have seen few more popular champions than Jaroslav Drobny. At the age of 32, he has achieved his life's ambition.